Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Brave Bison Group PLC Annual General Meeting. Throughout this meeting, attendees will be in listen-only mode. I'd also like to remind you that this meeting is being recorded. I'd now like to hand over to Oliver Green, Chairman of Brave Bison Group PLC. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Oliver Green, Executive Chairman of Brave Bison Group PLC, and I will preside as Chairman for this meeting. It is now 11 a.m. and so I shall now open the eighth annual general meeting of Brave, Brave Bison Group PLC. The UK government has introduced a number of measures to limit the impact and spread of the coronavirus. These measures include restrictions on indoor gatherings, thereby limiting the ability of shareholders to attend this AGM. In normal circumstances, the board values very highly the opportunity to meet shareholders in person at its AGM. However, the health and the safety of the company's staff and shareholders are of paramount importance. On this basis, shareholders are not able to attend the company's 2021 AGM in person. Thank you to all those shareholders that are joining us today via the Investor Meet company platform. I'd like, you to introduce, I'd like to introduce you to Thea Green, our Director of Growth, Philip Norwich, our Chief Financial Officer, and Matt Law, our non-executive director. In order to comply with relevant legal requirements, this AGM has been convened with the minimum necessary quorum of shareholders facilitated by, facilitated by the company. We released the following AGM statement to the London Stock Exchange this morning at 7 a.m. I'll now read the statement. Brave Bison has made a strong start to the current financial year and has now been trading profitably on an adjusted basis for the last eight months. Adjusted EBITDA in the first four months of 2021 was over 0.25 million pounds, despite this traditionally being the weakest period of the year. The group continues to see a strong pipeline of clients beginning to release, release additional budget. As a result, the board is optimistic as to the group's prospects and is confident that Brave Bison is positioned to meet or exceed current full year market expectations. The notice convening the meeting was posted to shareholders who requested hard, copy, hard copies on the 6th of May, 2021, and is set out in full on our company's website. I shall take the notice as read. A note on each resolution is given in the notice, so I don't propose explaining all the resolutions in detail. The first four resolutions are proposed as ordinary resolutions and require a simple majority to be passed. The final resolution is proposed as a special resolution, which requires a majority of 75% to vote in favor of the resolution to be passed. As set out in the notice, shareholders have been encouraged to submit their proxy votes electronically and to appoint the chairman of the meeting as their proxy to vote on their behalf. I have been informed by the company's registrar, Link Asset Services, that 99% of votes cast in favour of all resolutions are so declared and that all resolutions have been passed. That concludes the business of this annual general meeting. Thank you for all your continued support of the company and I look forward to updating shareholders on progress at our interim period and throughout the rest of the year. Thank you very much. Oliver, thank you uh, very much indeed. On behalf of the board of Brave Bison Group, we'd like to thank you very much for attending today's AGM. That now concludes the session. Thank you once again and good morning to you all.